First, thank you all so, so much for being here. If you had told me five years ago when I was diagnosed that I'd someday be at an event in my own town with all of this support for dysautonomia, I wouldn't have believed you. It was 2019, events like this simply didn't exist. You'll notice we are only in our third year here. There were a couple national events back then, but this wasn't like breast cancer, Parkinson's, or heart disease. I was a local news anchor at the time. I'd emceed events for conditions like those. There were no local walks to find a cure for POTS. Neighbors and friends didn't get word of the diagnosis and rallied to support people like us. No one understood the weight of the words, postural or the static tachycardia syndrome. I am fortunate that this didn't hit me until the age of 26. I got to enjoy college and start building my reputation in the workforce. I got to make friends and meet my husband. More importantly, I got to figure out who I was before that person disappeared into the symptoms. I don't know who, who all of you were before POTS stole pieces of you away. Maybe you were a kid going to school in person before POTS. There are teens who were athletes before POTS. Career-focused people who were climbing a ladder before POTS. Parents who were running around at the park with toddlers before POTS. Partners who were travel buddies before POTS. Friends who always showed up before POTS. There are so many people who are grieving the person they once were and who they thought they'd become because of POTS. And then there are those around them who had to watch it happen and silently say goodbye too. Like most others in the world at the time when I was diagnosed, I also didn't understand the weight of the words. I was ecstatic to have a diagnosis after two years of being told it was all in my head. But as that initial relief faded, like so many, I was left with the reality of living with POTS. I didn't realize what it meant when the doctor said, there's no cure, but you'll learn to manage. I didn't know life wouldn't get better just because the symptoms now had a name. I didn't know so many meds wouldn't work and so many more symptoms would appear. I didn't know the people around me wouldn't understand why I wasn't getting better. I didn't know how much I'd miss out on when I got worse. I didn't know my news career would be threatened and ultimately ended by this thing. I had no idea that while friends and neighbors hadn't heard of my condition, neither had most doctors. I didn't know I'd be so alone in the fight for my life. That's why when I say thank you for being here, I hope you understand the weight of those words. Most of the time when fundraisers happen for poorly recognized illnesses, it is only the sick and their families who show up. The community comes to the big ones, whether they've got a connection to the cause or not. Let me tell you, those are a scene and they are a place to be seen. We're just that condition with a weird name that some still don't believe is even real. And so often, our fundraisers are simply glorified support groups. So how do we make sure that an event, an event like this is a show of support and not just for show? When I go home tonight and I wash this turquoise glitter off my face and return to work tomorrow like nothing important happened over the weekend, how do I make sure that's not the case? How do we make sure what happened here today matters? Use this event as fuel to re-energize your fight because advocacy doesn't happen on one day or even during one designated month. Advocacy happens in moments, conversations, and actions every single day with every single one of you. Every time you interact with a medical professional, you are advocating not only for yourself, but also for every single patient who will enter the exam room after you. You have the power to change those interactions. The way you speak about your condition with honesty and reliable science will directly impact the way the world views us. You have the power to make sure we are believed and our research is funded. Whether you can stand up and speak to a room full of important people or can only share a post on social media, your voice matters in this fight. You have the power to make sure it is no longer a lonely one. We have no FDA approved treatment for this condition right now. There is no cure. Those of us who have been dealing with this for years know there's a very real chance that the money raised here doesn't bring us either of those in our lifetime. We know full well that medical research 
can take decades. So why do we use our limited energy to fight for an outcome that may never impact us directly? We keep doing this because it means our suffering wasn't for nothing. Imagine in the future, someone gets diagnosed with POTS and there's a clear explanation, plus a simple pill or outpatient surgery to fix them. The symptoms melt away like strep throat clears with antibiotics. You'll be fine in a week, they'll say. We also do this because we deserve that hope too. If there is even the smallest chance we get a little of the person we were before back, it's worth using as much of our energy as possible. We fight for the person we were and the one we wanted to become. I can tell you from what I've seen in my advocacy work that it has, ta that has taken me across the country over the last year, a cure is coming a whole lot faster than it was five years ago. If you find yourself here today because you or a loved one developed POTS from COVID-19, I'm sorry you had to find out this way. The long haulers have joined our fight, and though I am so grateful to have these extra voices, I'm so sorry you now have a connection to this cause. I want you to know we have been fighting for you for years, and we will not stop now. You are not alone. Your illness is not your fault. You didn't cause this, and you don't deserve this. So much of what we struggle with as chronically ill people is figuring out who we are because we are not the same people we were before we got sick. We can't do the same things, we can't think the same way, and our perspectives have been permanently altered. So I don't know who all of you were before POTS came into your life, but I sure hope you know who you are now. Every single person here today is an advocate. Whether you wanted it or not, you became one the day you received your diagnosis. That is both the burden and beauty of having an under-researched condition. The responsibility is on us, whether it should be or not. Sure, you can call that the burden, but let us not forget that what makes our place in the history of POTS so beautiful. No, I, don't, I didn't know that I would lose so much to this condition, but I also didn't know about what I'd gain. I didn't know journalism was the purpose I chose in life, but advocacy would be the purpose life chose for me. I didn't know people cared less about my status as a news anchor and more about my words. I didn't know they'd still matter when I left TV. I didn't know that as lonely as I felt back in 2019, I'd make more instant friends than I ever could have imagined, like a random girl from Ohio with a port and an affinity for fainting who would be there for me when symptoms turned my world dark, send flowers when my dad died, and show up in Knoxville for this fundraiser for just 24 hours. I didn't know I'd get the chance to impact research to change the course of this illness. I didn't know that I am not weak because my symptoms are strong. I didn't know the person I've become, though sicker, sadder, and saltier, may be a better person than before. Do right by yourself and do right by your fellow patients. More importantly, do right by the patients who have not come yet and the ones who are diagnosed tomorrow because every single one of your lives matters and what you're doing here matters and what we do for the next 364 days until we all get together again matters. So to the patients who are here through torturous symptoms, I'm so sorry you had to learn this kind of strength. To the patients who can't be here because it has gotten that bad, we feel and hold space for your presence. To those of you who showed up to support someone you love or simply someone you know with POTS, Thank you for standing by us should we be unable to stand at all. Being here today allows us to cling on to the concept that maybe one day we do get to be who we were, plus so much more than we ever could have imagined. Until then, thank you all for spinning hope that didn't exist just five years ago.